This video has been made by Al Faisal University medical students as part of their primary health care course. This video will go over the etiology, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, maintenance, treatment, and the toxicity of vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin, it is different from other essential vitamins because our own bodies can manufacture it with sunlight exposure. Uh, what does vitamin D do for one's health? Vitamin D is essential for the formation, growth, and repair of bones and for normal calcium absorption and immune function. The source of vitamin D for humans is obtained from sun exposure, food, and supplements. When we are exposed to the sun, our body begins to synthesize vitamin D and make it active for our body to use. We can also get vitamin D from our own diet. The main function of vitamin D is to regulate the absorption of calcium and phosphorus in our bone and aid in cell-to-cell -cell, uh, communication throughout the body. Vitamin D deficiency is the lack of vitamin D in our body. Uh, these are two diagrams showing the synthesis and the sources of vitamin D. Sources of vitamin D deficiency, etiology. Recommended levels of vitamin D are not consumed sufficiently. This is likely if you follow a strict vegetarian diet because most of the natural sources are animal-based. Limited sunlight exposure. This usually happens to people who are homebound and in Muslim countries, women wear hijab and in Gulf countries, men wear thobe and shemakh. Darker skin. The pigment m melanin reduces the skin's ability to make vitamin D in response to sunlight exposure. So people who have darker skin need to expose their skin to the sunlight for a long period of time. Kidneys inability to convert vitamin D to its active form 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol. As people age, their kidneys get weaker. Digestive tract cannot adequately absorb vitamin D. Certain medical problems including Crohn's disease, cystic fibrosis, and celiac disease can affect your intestine's ability to absorb vitamin D from the food you eat. Obesity. Vitamin D is extracted from the blood by fat cells. Now I'll present some of the signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. The first symptom is the flu, which mostly affects children and must affect them repeatedly, as well as muscle weakness and psoriasis, which is shown in the picture. After that, chronic kidney disease and diabetes type 1 more than type 2. The sixth sign is asthma. After that, periodontal disease, which is basically gum recession, such as the one shown in the picture, as well as a, uh, a, a group of cardiovascular disease. The mental signs related to vitamin D deficiency are schizophrenia along with depression. Lastly, there are cancers in all its types and rickets slash osteoporosis, which are bone weaknesses shown in the top picture. The only way to diagnose vitamin D deficiency is by a blood test called 25-hydroxyvitamin D. So whenever someone develops signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, he should take the blood test. In this slide you can see different levels of vitamin D. 
in the table deficient is uh, is considered less than 50 nanograms per per milliliter optimal is considered 50 to 70 nanograms per milliliter and uh, and um, excess is considered over 100 nanograms per milliliter um, it is important to have early di uh, early diagnosis for vitamin D deficiency to prevent the risk of having bone disease Many people think that because Saudi Arabia has abundant sunshine that its inhabitants would not suffer from vitamin D deficiency. This, however, is not the case. In fact, Saudi Arabia has one of the world's highest uh, vit vitamin D deficiency rates at about 90% of its inhabitants. To treat vitamin D, the best three options are taking vitamin D supplements, increase vitamin D consumption via diet, and exposure to sufficient amount of sunlight. If a patient suffers from a low vitamin D count of 20 nanograms per milliliter or less, he must either take 50,000 international units every two weeks or 1,000 to 2,000 uh, international units daily or he should be exposed to sufficient amount of sunlight daily. Maintenance of vitamin D in the body. After seeing the huge impact that vitamin D has on our body, we can now understand how crucial maintaining normal levels of vitamin D in the body are to prevent the diseases re related to it. Maintenance of vitamin D can be ensured by these three factors. Controlled exposure to sunlight, consumption through diet, and intake of regulatory vitamin D supplements. Controlled exposure to sunlight. Sunlight is the most important factor for maintaining vitamin D in the body because it synthesizes it from the skin and converts it to its active form. We should be exposed to sunlight for about 10 to 15 minutes every day preferably before 12 p.m. and after 3 p.m. to prevent sunburns. Consumption through diet. We can consume vitamin D through natural and fortified foods. Natural foods include dairy products, oily fish, beef liver, and egg yolk. Fortified foods include cereal, margarine, and powdered milk. Although these foods contain little amounts of vitamin D, they do help in maintaining normal levels of vitamin D in the body. Intake of regulatory vitamin D supplements. Regulatory vitamin D supplements help maintain normal levels of vitamin D in the body through ingestion. The dose that is prescribed for adults is 800 international units and for children it is between 400 to 600 international units. Vitamin D toxicity, also called hypervitaminosis D, it is rare but potentially rare condition that cause uh, that occurs when you have excess amount of vitamin D in your body. It is caused by mega doses of vitamin D supplements, not by sunlight exposure or diet. That is because your skin regulates the amount of vitamin D produced by sun exposure. Even fortified foods don't contain large amounts of vitamin D. Uh, it causes hypercalcemia, which can cause symptoms such as poor appetite, nausea, and vomiting. Weakness, frequent urination, and kidney problems also may occur. This is a summary of the information provided in the video. Thank you for watching the video, we hope it was beneficial. Please like and share the video so others can benefit as well.